Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, you will learn how to plot curves of different ordinate values on same abscissa. If the two ordinates are largely different, then the one with smaller values will not be correctly read under the default plotting style. So in order to visualize the variation in both very clearly on a single frame, you need to use a special command. For that purpose, let us do a little practice on Mathematica. You see here I have two functions, one I am denoting by f and the other I am denoting with g. And both depends on the same variable x, a, b, x, a, b. So they are exponentially decaying and sinusoidally varying function. And there is a difference of additive constant which is 2 in the two functions. And I want to first plot the absolute value of f function and the absolute value of g function separately. If I do it by first running the program for each function. So this is the behavior of f function with abscissa value varying from 0 to 4 and ordinate value varying from 0 to 3. If I plot the absolute value of g function with same abscissa, the ordinate value of the function varies from 0 to 40. So there is a big difference between the two ordinate values. I can plot them both on a single frame by using the show function. Inside the argument of the show function, I put person 3 and person 4, where the 3 and 4 in fact correspond to the output values of these plots. You see here it is 3 and for this plot it is 4. So I recall these plots and if I run this program I'll get the 2 on a single frame but there is a big problem. The plot with small ordinate values looks like a straight line so we cannot correctly read its variation. In order to avoid this problem I replot them through the table command by first developing the data for the plot through table command. So here is table. In order to understand how can we plot through table command, just refer to my previous videos on this subject. So if I develop this table for the absolute value of function f and table 2 for the absolute value of function g, then the data developed through the table command can be plotted by using the command list plot. And there I'm making the list of the two tables, which is table 1 and table 2. So if I plot through this, I'll get the same plot like before. The only difference is that the second curve is now colored yellow. Okay, how to avoid this problem? Now let's come to that point. Here I want to plot the data in table 1 through the command list line plot with some other option. Plot style blue, this will give make the curve blue. Image padding resizes the image and I'll keep this image padding same for both so that they could fit accurately into the frame. And then I give it frame true, 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 false. So this true will show the axis lines at three sides of the frame while the fourth one will be missing. And you can just similarly go for these options. If I run this command, I get this curve. Now you see we have x axis below x axis upper and y axis with the values as shown 0 to 3 and it is this function that gives the curve blue color and this pair this this ordinate values are blue because of this command in the frame style if i replot the data in table 2 which correspond to the g function through the list line plot and similarly choose 
the plot style red image the same x is false frame false 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 mean the the three which were true in the previous case are now false and the fourth which was false in the previous case is now true frame text and you can uh, adjust these things as you wish and if I run this I get a plot with red values and only one ordinate at the right which is red this red color come through this command and the values come and this thing and this ordinate comes through this command now I can combine the data stored in plot 1 and plot 2 on a single frame through the overlay command this is the command that will give you the actual variation of the two plots with two different ordinates values if I run it I get the plot which is desired now the values of the blue plot are read from the left ordinate and the values of the red plot are read from the right ordinate from this figure we can correctly read the values of both curves whether large or small